Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to calculate the equation of state and hence the bulk modulus, equilibrium energy as well as the equilibrium volume using quantum espresso and Crisx. So a while back, I wrote a post on bulk modulus calculation using quantum espresso and it is doing pretty well even on search engines. So I just thought I might as well make a video about it explaining this procedure in a greater detail. So the thing about equation of state is um, you must have seen in a variety of uh, literature something like this. So basically what they do is they calculate the energy of your system at different volumes and then fit it to some equation of state and then calculate the bulk modulus equilibrium volume which would be basically the minimum of this um, parabola as well as the equilibrium energy. So there are a variety of equation of states that are used for this purpose. So the most popular ones are Bonagan, I'm sorry, Murnagan equation of state. So you can find the um, Wikipedia article about Murnagan equation of state here and it is basically given by this expression. So this expression basically um, gives you a a variation of energy with respect to equilibrium volume ev naught then v naught would be your um, bulk modulus v naught prime its derivative then v would be a volume v naught would be the equilibrium volume and so on so this is the monogon equation of state and another equation of state which is pretty popular is birch monogon equation of state and a rose winnet um, equation of states and so on so in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to calculate all these equation of states as well as these um, equilibrium energy, equilibrium volume and the um, bulk modulus using quantum espresso. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to find out the material. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the iron, which is a basically a BCC structure. So um, let me see. OK, so here it is. So here's the Wikipedia page of iron, which basically tells us that iron has a BCC structure uh, at a you know, room temperature and it has a bulk modulus of 170 gigapascal. So we'll be running a, a very rough calculation using quantum espresso and see if we can get something like this or not. So the first thing that we need here is we need the iron crystallographic information file. So just go ahead and run iron sif file and search for it using your favorite uh, search engine and then go to this link that is AMCSC search results so um, here you can see you have iron and then this is the one we are looking for so just go ahead and click on download SIF data and then just go ahead and save this SIF file anywhere um, that is accessible to you I'll just save it on my desktop and call it FE now the next thing I need you to do is you need to launch BURAI so um, I have already made several videos on BURAI, which is a GUI of Quantum Espresso. So here it is. So um, what you can do is you can go to my computer and um, search for your desktop or wherever you downloaded that file. So I downloaded mine to my desktop and I'll just go there and open that fe.sif file. So in order to calculate the um, equation of state, I already told you guys you will need to run the SCF calculation at a number of volumes. So, I mean, I didn't tell you this exactly, but I told you that you would need the value of energy at a bunch of different volumes. So all these green dots are the energy at different volumes. So you will need that and then you will be fitting some equation and then getting that uh, equation of state parameters. So how to do that would be pretty easy using BURI. So what you can do is you can see that currently the um, lattice parameter is 2.86 is angstrom. So in order to change the volume, which is a cube right now, you can basically just change this and the volume will change itself. However, before you do that, the first thing you have to do is you need to change this to crystal. So you will be needing to providing the uh, atomic positions and crystal coordinates rather than atomic positions so now if you will have a look at the input file then it will be atomic positions crystal and the fe atom at the origin one fe atom at the origin and the other at the bcc and all the rest are its images so that's it so now if you go ahead and change the volume so let's say you change you start your calculation from 2.78 to 2.98 so let's say I'll be changing my volume from 2.78 in steps of 2 
to 2.98 so I'll be changing this volume in steps of 0 0.02 from 2.78 to 2.98 and then I'll be uh, calculating the equation of states so I'll be calculating volume for two points uh, I will be calculating the energy for volume 2.78 cube for 2.80 cube for 2.82 cube and so on however since we have already provided the atomic positions in terms of crystal coordinates they will not change when we change the uh, lattice parameters however had we provided these in angstrom coordinates then that would have been a problem because if we would change this but the atomic position will remain the same then uh, you know there will be problem for example let's say we are already in angstrom okay so now as you can see since it was 2.98 so it easily you know knew that uh, the second fe atom would have to be at the half of that that is 1.49 however if now i change it to 2.4 or something like that now you can see that this atom is not no more at the center so that is the thing that is the precaution i was talking about however um so just go ahead and change it back once again so just make it 0 0.5 um, five, and then change it to seven eight, and then go to the SCF, and then just change these to yes. Increase the cutoff to let's say forty Rydberg. So, however, you have to perform a convergence criteria test on this, and I've already made it made a video about that so you can check it out however for this rough calculation although we want some decent results so i'm taking 40 red bugs and just change it to six by six by six i guess let the smearing be on and the smearing be gaussian and the magnetization is on okay so now if you will go ahead and check out this input file so that is pretty much um okay for a rough calculation so just go ahead and copy all this launch your favorite notepad edit um, text editor uh, no no okay and then just paste all this and save it by some name all right so i have already you know gone ahead and created several input files that is scf1.in which has the lattice parameter as 2.78 so the volume would be its cube then i have another input file that is that has the lattice parameter as 2.80 um, then i have another input file which has the lattice parameter as 2.82 and so on until um, the last input file which has the lattice parameter as 2.98 so i've already created a bunch of input files and then what you can do is you can basically um, launch your command prompt and um, let's see Okay, so we are here in desktop and both modules, all right. So just go ahead and run your calculations. So I have the pw.exe direct um, uh, executable address here and then the name of the input file and then the name of the output file. Okay, so it was scf1.in and then just go ahead and hit on enter. However, uh, to save some time, I have already run the calculations as you can see here, scf1.out, scf2.out, scf3.out. However, I'll show you that it doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes a few moments to run this basic calculation. So let me see here. Okay, so it is already completed. I'm not sure what this is going on about. Okay, I just hit enter there. And as you can see, it was completed right now, 21.53.49 is 21.54. So I'm not playing with you guys for some reason. Um, this didn't register the job getting complete. However, now what you can do is uh, you can run all these input files use, uh, like this. And then you have you will have a bunch of output files like scf1.out, scf2.out, scf3.out, and so on. So the next step, what you need to do is you need to uh, you know take a note or you know compile the energies versus the volume so first just go ahead and search for a line that contains an exclamation mark with total energy and that would be your total energy so just go ahead and each file and search for this thing similarly here and similarly in all the other files so you'll just open these files search for this output that is 
exclamation mark four spaces total energy so you will search for that so now you have a bunch of energies here so um, let's say you opened Excel so here I have already you know compiled the volumes I'm um, sorry the lattice parameters that is 2.78 2.8 2.82 and all that up till 2.98 and then here I'll just cube them to get the volume so here I'm sorry so here I have the volumes with me and then the next step I need to do is so basically I used Excel because it was pretty easy to get the volumes in a single step and then basically just open your favorite notepad editor and I'm sorry text editor and then just copy all these volumes in this row so here I have copied all those volumes that is this the first column is of the volume and then the note and then you will have to note down the energies so this was the first energy scf out, and then copy it into this file so just provide a tab and then copy that similarly from scf2 so you have this one 111.6047829 yeah so as you can see I have done almost all the work beforehand however this doesn't mean that I'm playing with you you can see that each and every um, calculation is corresponding to the uh, what I'm showing you on this on the screen so once you have a notepad file or a .txt file which has the columns in the first column and the corresponding energies in the second column then it is pretty easy to calculate the equation of state either by using quantum espresso or by using my app Crisx. So this Crisx is a mobile Android app that can also be used to calculate a variety of equation of states. However, let's just see how to calculate the equation of state using Quantum Espresso first. So similar to the previous step, you will need to provide the address of the Quantum Espresso ex executable called ev.exe. So in the previous step, we were using pw.exe. However, this time we'll be using ev.exe similarly Linux users will be writing ev.x here so just uh, you know type out the address and click enter so you'll be executing ev.exe file so once you execute that it will prompt you to enter whether the lattice parameters or the volume are in atomic units or angstroms in my case these are in angstrom so I'll just write in g then enter the type of rubber lattice so in my case although it is a bcc lattice however since I have provided the volumes in the first column rather than lattice parameters so if you are using a cubic lattice and provide lattice parameters in the first column then you can choose FCC BCC SC etc however since I have provided volumes I'll just click here and enter non cubic and then it will ask me which type of equation of state I want so I'll just go ahead and click on Mornagan and hit enter and then it prompts me to name the input file so input file as I already told you should be something like this with the first column having the volumes the second column having the corresponding energies so just type out the name however please make sure that you are in the same directory in which this input file is so currently I'm in the same directory bulk modulus fe so if you open that you will notice that I have this file volume versus e underscore fe that is this one so I'll just type out the name wall um, v s e underscore f e dot t x e so just type out its name and then the name of the output file let's call it e o s final and hit enter so here you will notice that now you have a file called e o s final so just right click on it and open it with your favorite text editor and you will notice that now you have an equilibrium volume that is 23.12 angstrom bulk modulus and GPA that is 154.3 which is not very close to um, this um, given on Wikipedia page that is 170 however I've noticed um, here that other people have caught in 1.73 using DFT so maybe um, we can maybe there's something um, we can do about it by increasing the cutoff energy of plane waves as well as the charge density as well as the um, your 
key point mesh can be done so so we have got the so this is the output file that basically gives the equilibrium volume bulk modulus derivative first derivative of the bulk modulus second derivative zero equilibrium energy so all these parameters basically spell out the equation of state for you which is this one so now you have all these parameters as well as the equation of state so that's how you will be calculating bulk modulus using quantum espresso however you can also calculate bulk modulus using my app that is chrisx by physvis so in order to do that well what you'll need to do is you need to download the app which is available on the play store with the by the name of chrisx crystallographic tools so just go ahead and download this app and run it on your android phone and also you can either enter these manually into the app or you can also just go ahead and copy paste this file as the application can also read this file similar to quantum espresso so just launch the Chris X crystallographic tools application on your Android smartphone and head on to the sidebar menu and go to the EOS fitter. So once you are in this EOS calculator, then you can either enter the value of the volume manually like this, 21.4845, submit, 21.952. So in this case, way you can enter the volume values and similarly you can enter the corresponding energies by double clicking here. So you will get minus sign then triple one point six zero two four done and then minus triple one point six zero four seven eight submit. So in this way you can enter the value of the volume as well as the corresponding energies manually. However, you can also read dot csv and dot txt files and the TXT files are basically in the same format as read by Quantum Espresso. So uh, we'll be able to read the same file that we created a little bit earlier. So just go ahead and copy that file onto your smartphone and hit on read.txt and then provide the necessary uh, storage permissions and then go to the volume versus e underscore fe dot txt which is the file we just created and it has basically the volume in the first column as well as the corresponding energies in the second column and then just go ahead and tap it and you will see that it will be able to read all these values automatically and then just go ahead and click on calculate and you will get the Monaghan equation of state, Burge Monaghan equation of state, as well as the Vinet equation of state, along with a useful graphical representation. And you have the equilibrium energies, bulk modulus, volume, derivative of bulk modulus, which are all in very good agreement with the values that you're going to get with quantum espresso. It's no big deal here. And then you can also go ahead and share this graph by clicking here, and that's it. I hope you guys um, really enjoyed this video and learned something from uh, learn something new. In case you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.